Well, this is my first video to do for YouTube because I have this little flip camera and I'm getting used to using it now. But I want to show you my newest creation, which is, well, it's a vector equilibrium. And if you'll look right there on the inside, I put my name, Grace, on the inside of it. Right there. And that's because I wanted to be in the God space. But then after I made this one that's on the inside, the very center, I said, I think that I will make more vector equilibriums on top of that one. Uh, which I did because the wire, the way I put it on, I was trying to make it into the Merkaba like I have, well, let me show you, like I have this one is the Merkaba. And uh, I'm starting to paint it green because it, it fits right on to the flower of life. And what I want to, wanted to do was, with this one was to make it into another big Merkaba. But I realized that I, if I did it just a little differently, it turned into another big vector equilibrium. And what is amazing about this is that, I'm going to get you right there in the center. You see that center? That is the beginning one. And around that center, there are 12. 12 more of these. I'll focus on them. 12 more places. I'm going to point to this one. Got black on my finger. Uh-oh. But anyway, there's 12 of these other vector equilibriums all around the center. So that makes 12 around 1, which is 13. And uh, I thought that was very unique. It's kind of like Christ in the center and 12 disciples or disciplines or however you want to think of that. And uh, it's just very unique, I think, because, you know, this is also the flower of life. Let me see if I can show you that. See each level? There's one, two, three levels, not counting if you count the little part of the vector equilibrium that is the tetrahedron shape there at the end there's which of which there are eight of them so what this is really like is the flower of life in three dimension because each of these have planes uh, there's the plane that goes down the middle and and you find that in four different places There'll be a plane that goes right down the middle. So I can show you it there. And I can show you it there. This isn't going to look so good, I don't think, because it's really hard. This looks so shiny and everything with made with all this wire. I'll get back from it so you can see it better. And uh, what it is is a three-dimensional flower of life because every one of these planes has this little six sectioned uh, circle like structure that that is part of a still another one and still another one and still another one so it's um, just the vector equilibrium turned into the flower of life only made three-dimensional the flower of life in a three-dimensional way anyway I'm always playing with wire, it seems. I used to always play with paper. Nowadays, I, I, I'm playing with wire. And, it, and sacred geometry is what I'm looking at that is giving me a great deal to think about, about uh, planes and what the flower of life could be telling us about the existence. If you remember a while back, I made this thing. Let me show it to you this thing right here that I call the atom it's like the flower of life is in there but uh, all around it is built the vector equilibrium and you can build, build three of them before you run out of space and it seems like God does things in three in threes well I know he does things in threes but 
around this there's three loops and then there's of course the center one that goes around the center of it that makes the flower of life but any of the loops that go around it could also be the flower of life and I just really enjoy making these here's something I made I'll show it show it to you now that I got a little movie camera here <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this movie camera this is something I made that is um, dodectrohedron. Let's see, it's got 20 sides. And inside each one of them is a vector equilibrium. I've got it painted a certain color with uh, glow-in-the-dark paint so that at night, for a little while, it, they show up real brilliant. And let me show you my latest creation. Is this thing right here <laughs> kind of heavy? Well, this started out being the vector equilibrium, but on this end and this end, I turned that into a pyramid. I could have done all the squares as a pyramid, and then it would have looked like a big old um, octahedron. But anyway, I have a little one on the inside, another vector equilibrium vector equilibrium that the bigger one is coming off of is on the inside so it's very interesting but I need now to paint it kind of interesting the clay was getting too heavy and I discovered something else that I could use besides clay and guess what it is spackling like you would mend a place on a wall the spackling that is real lightweight they have a heavy spackling and then they have just one that's just really light and uh, I put it on there because it didn't crack as bad as my clay did. Okay, I'll show you this now that I've got this camera and I can show things. Now this looks like a ball with a bunch of four-leaf clovers around it. But what it is, it's also the vector equilibrium. The gold part that you see is the wire that uh, I just shaped it because I thought, well, you know, this would... This vector equilibrium, if I bend it into the shapes it will make, which it, it made uh, four-leaf clovers, then I could use it like to, to gird a globe. And it makes a perfect one. Then I painted everything green to make it look sort of like four-leaf clovers all over this beautiful planet Earth. So... That's another thing you can do with a vector equilibrium. I'll show you one more thing. And that is this. This is the vector equilibrium. But you squish it in in the middle. And you have what I call the chalice. The uh, cup that, that holds the beautiful liquid that is us. Life. What we're made of. So, that's my vector equilibrium playing around with things to make. Here's my original one that I started. Big old heavy one right here. And let's see, is there anything else to show you? Mm, this, I love this thing. 8.43, gosh, I can tell how many minutes I'm talking. See? Perfect balance. Well, a little bit wobbly, but if I would turn it a little more carefully, it wouldn't wobble up and down as it goes around. But what it is, is man and woman. Woman's on the back of the man, and we're on the balance wheel of life. And our life can be like this. You know, up. Too many ups and downs as we go around and around. <laughs> but if we want it to go good, we have to just be a little more gentle and, and make it go around without so many huge ups and downs. Well, now, here's my computer and it's a mess all around it just like it usually always is. And I am excited about this little camera I have because now I can do this. <laughs> <laughs>